good morning. Uh, I'm Randy Noblesa from the School of Arts and Research and Extension Coordinator. And today I'd like to share the salient uh, findings of our uh, research grant from NCCA entitled Saling Awit Saling Tula uh, Pang Rayon Tungong Pambansa. So for our PIF, uh, School of Arts and Sciences Research and Extension uh, Colloquium. So let me begin with uh, this slide. So this is the cover of the CD that we reproduce with the endowment from the National Commission for Culture and the Arts, uh, featuring uh, poetry, uh, folk songs, and excerpts from passion of our local uh, passion chanters from Marinduque. So the objective was to present uh, this uh, form for a popular audience. That's why we uh, reproduce uh, sound recordings and uh, with uh, lyric sheet for everybody to uh, enjoy uh, the poems, the folk songs, and the passion even if it's not a uh, holy week. So to continue our presentation flow, where they, I would uh, start with an introduction and the presentation of the objectives of this uh, research plan, which spans uh, in 2017 until 2019. So the next part of this presentation is about the methods deployed in the study. Uh, the third uh, topic would be uh, regarding results and discussion uh, from the output of this uh, uh, research. And I'd like to end with the conclusion as a way of uh, moving forward and having the next critical steps. So in the uh, in Linduque is well known for the Moriones uh, festival, but uh, the Marinduque uh, people and folks would uh, later on consider it not as a festival but as a uh, form of Lenten rites and uh, manifestation of one's religiosity and heritage. So the province of Marinduque is considered the heart of the archipelago and the geographic center of the Philippines. So by the time of uh, writing uh, research, uh, we have not uh, celebrated the uh, uh, centennial uh, reestablishment of the province separated from uh, Tayabas, then uh, Quezon province uh, now uh, in February 21, uh, 2020. And uh, Marinduque State College is the lone uh, state college in the province offering uh, higher and advanced education in the province. And uh, because uh, this is the SAS colloquium, it's obligatory to share that the School of Arts and Sciences was formed in 1995, offering courses such as communication, English, and political uh, science. So we also had uh, the offering of BS Entrepreneurship and uh, public administration and law enforcement before forming their own uh, respective schools of uh, business and management and the uh, school of governance along with uh, law enforcement and administration uh, subsumed with the school of governance. So these are the objectives of the research. There are five objectives. The first objective is to translate songs, poems, and passion from Marinduque Tagalog to Filipino. And initially to English to gain more popularity. Because we don't have a program in Filipino yet, but we already have a BA English language studies. That's why we need to have a relay and not direct translation. So the next objective is to check the acceptability of the translated songs, poems, and passion from various stakeholders and sections in the province. 
So we try to ask the poets, the literary organizations, and the practitioners of passion uh, who have a long and rich uh, experience of chanting the, the religious uh, poem and uh, chant. So the third objective is to compile the translation, the analysis, uh, revise and finalize the selected songs, poems, and passion. So we had the benefit of the NCCA uh, National Committee on Language and Translation guiding us with the uh, input and how to improve our uh, selections of songs, poems, and the excerpts from passion. The fourth uh, objective is to gain insights with the dynamics of translation and uh, Marinduque culture. So Marinduque is uh, just a small province, but uh, it has a very rich uh, heritage and arts along with its culture. And finally, the last objective is to record and popularize the translated songs, poems, and passion through different means such as audio recordings, uh, recording uh, with video, and also through online uh, means, through internet and the web. Uh, the materials and method would be the next uh, part of this uh, presentation. So we only selected uh, five uh, folk songs from the compilation of Dr. Rex uh, Emmanuel Asuncion. We selected the uh, alamat ng dalawang puting gansa, lahat ng bagay, dalagang parang, sulong akin tandang, and isang buong dayap. So in a way, uh, there are other uh, folk songs in Marinduque, there are other uh, folk songs in the town of Gasan, but we only selected uh, five uh, as a corpus, part of the body of work that we went to. Uh, translate uh, that time. So on the part of the poems, we pre-selected uh, five uh, uh, poetry pieces from our local uh, poet and uh, literati, Joseph de Luna Sagid. So we selected uh, one of his uh, books, uh, anthology entitled Cantilaho. So he has a couple of uh, books, but uh, we selected uh, from the book Cantilaho instead. So we have Tanawin, Diyos, have Kung Papano Pa Maaring Maunawaan Ang Diyos, Unang Gabi, uh, Biglang Awa, and Anting Bulating. So for the purposes of uh, the grant, we initially intended to include the uh, passion but uh, we have uh, difficulty in uh, getting the consent and the uh, permission from our local uh, chanters. But uh, we just decided to uh, continue with just the selection of folk songs and poetry. So this is the initial study of the cover. And apart from the AB English uh, students and AB English the default organ of uh, the students, we also uh, sought the help of our literary organization called Litera Club, which was founded around the same time uh, when, the, when the research uh, was conceived and was uh, just starting. So the activity design uh, started during the first semester of 2017. I remember it was the 50th anniversary of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations. And this has uh, uh, brought about uh, by our three uh, student researchers, Ms. Arlette Malimata, Ms. Angel May Mabunga, and Ms. Kindra Constantino. So they are taking up their uh, last two semesters. So that's why they are required to come up with a uh, proposal and we all agreed in consultation with our Dean Dr. Homer Montejo uh, to come up with the activity design. So by June 15, 
Uh, we're able to have a orientation, seminar, and workshop on Philippine Registry of Cultural Properties because one of the intangible cultural heritage of Marinduque is Murion, another is uh, Kalutang, and the last one is Putong. So we have to uh, introduce other entries in the pre-cup. So from June 25 to 29, we were involved with the Mugpog Cultural Mapping with the uh, student researchers as a uh, trainee in this uh, local uh, mapping uh, training for one week. So by August 10, uh, we just continued with our usual programming in the uh, in celebration of the National uh, Language Month with our Tertulia Pangwika. Uh, and the topic uh, during the time is Filipino language used in research or intellectualization of the language. By September, we were already uh, finalizing and collecting the corpus from the poetry collection of uh, Sagid and with the piano book by Dr. Asuncion, we were able to finalize with 10 uh, selections. By September 24 and 26, uh, we, we had the lecture and workshop on the nuances and uh, the differences and distinction of Tagalog, Filipino, and English so that I will be guided uh, accordingly. By October 1 to 5, uh, we had the schedule and division of labor when to record the translated uh, pieces from the folk songs Tula. And we also had the uh, chanters of passion to have a live uh, recording but we just uh, ended up including uh, with Entula and uh, having a separate output on passion so by October 8 uh, 10 and 17 uh, was the final uh, thesis defense of our uh, student researchers uh, Miss Mabunga uh, presented the uh, her topic on the accept acceptability of translated uh, passion, while Ms. Malimata uh, presented the topic on the acceptability of translated uh, folk songs, and uh, Ms. Constantino presented her topic on uh, the poetry of Joseph uh, Luna Sagit. So these were the uh, actual manuscript of uh, their topics that uh, was a big help in our translation and recording uh, process by October 18 to 31 were the recording sessions and the final recording was also done at the Office of Media and International Affairs with music education uh, students and our AB English students as well so by the last quarter of 2018 we had the chance to present the output uh, during the Oswag Dangal ng Wikang Filipino and the uh, Sangfil Lakbay Turo and other activities uh, in the college in coordination with the Commission sa Wikang Filipino, the Sangunian sa Filipino, and the Film Development Council of the Philippines. So the results and the discussion, we started with the corpus, we selected uh, a number of folk songs and sought the concept of Dr. Rex Emanuel Asuncion. We also asked for the consent from Joseph De Luna Sagid and we had the, our AB English students uh, do the translation and with the help of our uh, uh, panelists in the thesis uh, uh, board or board of panelists, uh, they came up with their uh, questions and best, uh, uh, alternatives to improve, enhance, and enrich the, the translation. And finally, when it was uh, all uh, said and done, we proceeded with the performance and the recording of the selected and translated folk songs and poetry from Dr. Uh, and Mr. Sagid. 
So here are some of the documentation of the selected folk songs, poems, and excerpts from the Passion. So this was the Office of the Media and International Affairs with our uh, School of Education and Arts and Sciences uh, students. So this was the program of the Uswag Dangal ng Wikang Filipino and the uh, Sangfil by uh, uh, wherein our students uh, participated as a intermission number where they presented their rendition of the folk songs and spoken word uh, poetry. So likewise, earlier uh, in March uh, 2018, uh, during the Holy Week, so we were able to be invited by the uh, NCCA in coordination with the Commission Sa Wikang Filipino in the city of Malolos and alongside with other passion chanters from Bicol, from Iloilo, from Pampanga, and from Bulacan, uh, we're able to share uh, the rendition of the Marinduque Passion during the Hime Cultura sa Heman Semana Santa last uh, Holy Week of 2018. So by way of conclusion, uh, these were the salient uh, points. Three theses were approved. The acceptability of translated of popular folk song in Gasan Marinduque uh, in coordination with Dr. Rex uh, Asuncion. The acceptability of translated passion, chanting the passion Christ in Buak Marinduque uh, in coordination with the uh, passion chanters from Barangay Bangbangalon, uh, Buak Marinduque. And finally, the acceptability of translated poems, an assessment of selected poems in the book entitled Cantilao in coordination with our uh, local uh, poet, Joseph de Luna Sagit. We're able to get the approval and uh, fortunate enough, our students are already graduates and degree holders. So another salient uh, feature is that uh, some of our AB English students who graduated are already teacher scholars. So they are already teaching in the laboratory school of uh, MSc. Some of them are teaching at the Torrijos branch of uh, the college and some are uh, teaching at the School of Business and Management. In, uh, in the main campus. And all of them are teacher scholars of graduate diploma in culture education, batch two. So they just started last uh, summer in uh, April and May uh, this year. And finally, uh, the output, the recordings, the lyric sheets are already part of the registry, the local registry of cultural properties so it is already used in the lesson exemplars, in the syllabus, in the teaching and learning materials of the college, and also some of our uh, teacher scholars who are teaching in uh, the Department of Education in other districts. They're already uh, familiar. They're already uh, using our folk songs and our poetry and also the passion uh, version of our local chanters. So on this uh, end, I'd like to acknowledge our uh, student uh, researchers, uh, Miss Arlette uh, Malimata, Miss Angel May Mabunga, and Miss Kindra Constantino for uh, pursuing the study on folk songs, on poetry, and also passion uh, chant of uh, our local chanters. Also, we'd like to acknowledge and give thanks to our uh, culture and arts uh, scholars, uh, Dr. Uh, Rex uh, Asuncion, and also uh, valuable help from the School of Education, uh, Music Education students, Mr. Alan Mascariñas and Mr. Sindley Togonon. And finally, this uh, project would not uh, come into uh, 
realization without the help of AB English Society and the SAS Literary Club. So with that, I end my presentation. Thank you very much and uh, thank you for your kind attention.